What's up, everyone? It's me, CN Tsukayama, and I'm back with another live stream for you guys. And today we'll be talking about, well, Yu Gi Oh! and action figures. So I don't know where should I start first. Hold it, let me turn up. It'll be some curtains. Can you see me there, guys? Or not? Just gonna turn up some lights on. Uh, okay. Let me see you guys can see me now. Mm -hmm. oh, I need to get a haircut now. Yeah, I'm gonna cut my hair already. Okay, so far, nobody's not watching me. We got very started. Okay, so for this live stream, we'll be talking about Yu Gi Oh cards and action figures. And right now, I got my phone with me here. And I'm really proud. Well, yeah, I'm very happy right now because I finally got a new phone. And with this phone, it's not going to give me any problem with my old phone did. Well, not really. Because I really miss having my old... Well, I really miss using my phone right now. But I will still do more... Hmm. Oh, Sandra. Sandra's texting me right now. I'm gonna see. Let me see if I can answer her message. I'm mean, gonna try. Okay, hold it. Oh. Okay. Carry, send it. There we go. Yeah, I'm using some lanterns right now. So I don't know where should I begin to talk about Yu Gi Oh or action figures. Well, I keep forgetting to show you one toy that I picked up at Didi's. It was like a week. Before I took off, I went to um, the Gatte. Yep, I went to the Gatte. And it's this one. Hmm. Oh, hi there. What's up? I pick up this Jurassic World toy. I keep on forgetting to show this. I should have... Showed this when I was doing my unboxing video that I had like a 500 subscribers. Just look at this. This is a really amazing toy. And I think this I think this is a kid's toy, but who cares? Because I do like dinosaurs and I also love the Jurassic um all the Jurassic movies like Jurassic Park and so far I have not saw Jurassic World yet. It's very cool and you have to open it like this. Open the mouth. It's awesome. And holy guys, it's very hot right now today. I'm sweating right now. Uh, yep, I'm getting hot right now. See, here's my old phone. Hmm. Tell me about it. Yep, it's very hard right now. Mm hmm Yeah, this is my yeah, this is my old phone. Okay, so I think I'm gonna talk about this first. I have this phone since 2017. Around like October. 
And when my brother and my sister bought this phone for me, I kind of cried for it. Because I was really looking forward to doing more videos. Um, see, oh, what's up, Jeff? How you doing? Okay, whoever's watching me, please subscribe to Jeff's tour reviews because he's almost close to 100 subscribers. And I really saw some of his awesome reviews like the Espedi, um, Red Ranger, his Diamond Sled, um, Nightmare Before Christmas. And those figures, I really like them a lot. So please subscribe to him right now. Now, I was saying that I had this phone for a very long time. And because of this phone, I started this channel. And, well, my channel had just grew already. And I'm very happy. So, I'm not going to get rid of this phone. I'm not going to sell it or give it away. No, I'm going to keep it. Because I've been so many things with this phone. Like I said, I started my channel with this phone. Doing a bunch of toy reviews, doing a bunch of toy hunts, doing a bunch of um, game plays. And I know it did give me a lot of problems when I'm doing a live stream, but this phone, I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm very happy that, I'm very happy that this phone, ah, dang it. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Ugh, because that stuff ends now. No more talking about stomach or any of that. So, I will repeat all over again. I had this phone since 2017. When my brother and my sister got this phone for me, I got to cry because I really want a phone to do more YouTube videos. And I did. Because this channel had grew. And with this phone... I did a lot with it. Like I said, toy hunts, toy reviews, gameplays, and more of, of Miraculous Ladybug videos I did with this phone. And I always had some good memories. And because I have a new phone right now, I think some of you guys, I saw it, that with this phone, it's not gonna give me any problems. So far, I've been doing a, like a lot of bunch of gameplays, and I've already done two gameplays of the Power Rangers Legacy War, and that game is Pretty sweet. I love it. And then I'm going to be doing more gameplays, but in different games. Like like the Looney Tunes. I'm planning to do a Looney Tunes game out of it. Whew. So boy, it's very hot right now. But I do got some of my action figures I have here. Like, I got my Quan Chi figure. Look at this. It's very cool. And I got this Quan Chi figure out of... Local Toys R Us. I got this um, Quan Chi figure at a Toys R Us over there in San Diego. And he was not the only one there. There was a, there was a Sub-Zero and a Scorpion and, Sh and Shorokan. Mm -hmm. I collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Well, right now I got a box of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But it's kind of old because I had this for like... I had this box since 2014 that my cousin had... Well, here's something that I don't really like what my cousin does. My cousin, he buys a lot of bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but in the end, he just like gives them away. He just like gives them away, and that's something that I don't really like. And that's when he gave me this box that has a seal over it, and I already got this card, but I don't have it with me. I left it over there in Tecate. So I will show you these cards in a bit. What was I? Oh, yeah. There was like a Sub-Zero and a Korokon figure. And that Toys R Us in, um, in um, San Diego. And that's when I got this Quan Chi figure. And right now, I have a bag with all the accessories, but I only managed to take some of the accessories for my figures I'll be showing right now. But I really love this Quan Chi. Look at all that great sculpting he did with the head. You guys can see it? Right there. I like the Tattoos they add in his body and his arms. And I love the detailed skulls they add in his knees. You guys can see it. I don't think you guys can see it. Nah. Right there, you can see the skulls right there on his knees. It's a very cool figure. And they're gonna and I'm never gonna sell it. I was so close to sell it, but I regret not to. Because I've got something I got something new on a brand new Toys R Us right there. 
I made a second channel just for um, trading cards today. Uh, oh, you, your cards. Those things, a lot of kids got crazy about Yu Gi Oh cards. Because when Yu Gi Oh, well, okay, before Yu Gi Oh cards, there was only Pokemon cards. Yep, Pokemon cards were all around the world. Kids were playing it, and then there were some kids who were getting in trouble because this kid has sold some other kids Yu Gi Oh cards. <laughs> but boy, Lots of kids were crazy about Pokemon cards, and also me. I was buying like a lot of bunch of packs of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, not Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Pokemon cards, and also asking my mom for fifty cents to buy a fifty cents. Well, not buy. Ah, yeah, I would ask my mom for fifty cents for get a a card on those little machines. But when Yu-Gi-Oh had came, they took out all the machine. All the machine cards that had Pokemon cards and it put Yu-Gi-Oh! And I was so crazy about Yu-Gi-Oh! My former neighbors, they bought Yu-Gi-Oh! cards and I, the way I was looking at them, they kind of looked cool. So that's when I decided to um, collect Yu-Gi-Oh! cards and let my Pokemon cards. I think mostly every kid did that. When they were starting to play Yu-Gi-Oh! they left the Pokemon cards behind. And sometimes I do bring some of my Yu Gi Oh! I did brought some of my Yu Gi Oh! cards to school, but sometimes my teachers get mad and say, Do not bring those cards here. They're gonna take it away from you. Well, the truth is, one of my classmates did took my Yu Gi Oh! cards behind my back. I didn't even knew. I only brought my cards to show it to my brother's friend. But when I saw my backpack zipper was open from the bottom, he says that someone had just took my cards. It was my classmate. I just didn't even know how he did that. I didn't know until until like one of my friends tells me saying, "Look, he took your cards. Are not your cards? Are those are uh, look, those are your cards. Are those are your cards that he took?" And when I look and saying, "Those are my cards," and I did got mad and I asked my TA, and then my teacher like, "Well, he did. Well, my teacher. Well, my classmate. He did give the cards to my teacher, and then my teacher gave them to, back to me." And when I see that these were are my cards, and I think that he lost some of them because I lost my ninja card, my scapegoat card, and some other ones. I just can't really remember. But yeah, he did took my cards. Behind my back, I didn't even knew about it. And there, my mom told and there my TA had just told to my mom saying that tell your kid to not bring his Yu Yu cards here in the, well, tell your kid to not bring his cards here in school because they're gonna take it away from them. And that's what I did. From there on, I never took my cards ever again. <sighs> but boy, Yu Yu cards were were all around the city. Kids were getting crazy. Kids were fighting. It. Kids were trading their own. Well, I did trade some. Um, I did trade some cards around to get some good ones. I get the Yu Geyser, Mystical Elf. But it was not that easy to get the Dark Magician card. I did had it like three times. And then I lost it again. But I'm going to get another Dark Magician card. Whew, it's getting hard to focus. Uh, well, I do feel kind of sleepy, but I, I kind of stay awake right now. Okay. Well, I'll be showing some of my Star Wars figures that I got here. So I got my Star Wars Black Series Ray. And this was my first Star Wars figure that I got. And I got it at my first toy hunt review that I did over there in that one Target in that mall in Cooper City. I really love her articulation, the sculpting on her, on her clothes. Her paint apps are very nice, and I really am a fan of the lightsabers. Look at the lightsabers. And I used to have like a toy lightsaber. I used to get them in my well. I got them in, in uh, some Christmas event, and that's when I got like two lightsabers. A blue one and a purple one and then I got a green one and a red one it's kind of cool having lightsaber swords and see dark magician is my favorite car yeah dark magician also is my favorite too actually I do have my deck box I think I'm gonna show you that right now hold it let me take my my deck box right now
Okay, this is my deck box. My brother bought this for me, so I can put all my cards there. I think he got it at Amazon. I just can't, can't really remember. But mostly he gets them at um, Walmart. But I do have a Dark Magician, but it's not the one I really want to get. Look. I know that this is a Dark Magician, but this is not the card that I want to get. Because I want to get like the one Yugi has in the, the anime series. And I gotta and I gotta build like three simple decks. One for my spellcasters because I really love spellcasters a lot. And then second is gonna be for my dragon's deck. Because I do have the, the five day dragon fusion monster. And the other one's gonna be for my zombie or warriors. So I'm not gonna add this one for my spellcasters deck. But I do have another Dark Magician here. Let me see. It's right here. Can you see it? This is a very good card. I know it is Dark Magician, but this is not the one I want. But I do like it, so maybe I will think about adding this card to my deck. Because my deck is not 100% complete yet. Because I got these little plastic that you pull in the cards, and, and I kind of fill it up with all of my favorite cards. I wish I should have brought my cards here, my rest of my cards to here when I was coming back. But I'm going to be going about... Ah, but I'll be going back to the Gatti very soon. I'll be doing well now. I won't be doing like a live stream. I just gonna do like a normal video saying that I'm back in the Gatti. But I'll let you guys know when I'm back. I just don't really know when when I'll be back there. But sometimes my brother he likes to buy a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And look, these are the cards that he get me. He gave me this card. Love the picture a lot. And he also gave me this one. He had a lot of these. And this one, I love it a lot. The Legendary Fisherman. Sweet. This is the one that Joey had one from Meku Tsunami. Yeah. The, the Origins is a fan favorite. Yep. The first generation of Yu-Gi-Oh! I love this card. And then here's another one that you give me. Can you see it? And then he give me um Cyber Char. Hmm. Hi Sandra, how you doing? Cool cards. Yep, I have a bunch of cards here. Okay, if you guys are watching me right now, please subscribe to Sandra Frost. Because she helped me out a lot on my channel because of, of her, her support. I just reached 500 subscribers. So thank you, Sandra, for helping me out. Yep, Cyber Jar. But this one, I don't know where should I put it. Should I add it my Spellcaster's deck or my Dragon's deck? Maybe I'm going to add it with a Zombie's deck. <laughs> so maybe... I just don't know where should I add it, but I am going to add this trap card. Well, these trap cards, I'm going to add it. I'm going to add these two trap cards. The Magical Hats and the Crash Card Virus. I'll be doing some combos with these two trap cards. This is the one that my brother had just given me. And this is the one I just bought it on the Swami Degati. You have support me. Thank you as well. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm always going to support everybody, especially you, Jeff. I'm going to help you until you hit the 100 subscriber. And maybe I will help you until you hit the 1,000 subscriber. Because I want everybody to hit that mark. Everyone. And that's the reason that I love to help out other YouTubers. So everybody to have the chance to hit the 1,000 subscriber mark. Yep. I'll be adding these cards to my spellcaster's deck. 
Let me see what else I have here. Because mostly my brother had given me these cards. He mostly bought them for me, and then some of them he just gave them to me. But the cat, the but the Swami and the cat did mostly I did like a couple of tokens there. That they sold like they sold action figures and they sell um Juvio cards. And he sells them for um five pesos. You can say like five cents. Mystical Hats, it's a good trap card, yep. But here's something that we don't even get. Because Magical Cards is a spell card in the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. But right here, it's a trap card. How's that impossible? Let me see. Hmm. I know this monster's not a uh, spellcaster, but I'm going to add it to my spellcaster's deck. It's this one. This is like the oldest cards. Kind of love this picture. And even like the like the background as well. It's time to do. I like the the first generation of Yu-Gi-Oh and also love the 5 5 Ds with the motorcycles. Those are my two favorite Yu-Gi-Oh series I like. And Yu-Gi-Oh um arts it was kind of cool that decided to mix with the other characters from all the generations of Yu-Gi-Oh! Like GX, 5Ds, and Axel. That was kind of cool. So I hope they keep on doing that. Maybe that's the reason that Yu-Gi-Oh! is getting much popular because people are, are fans of other Yu-Gi-Oh! characters. Okay, my favorite characters is Yami Yugi, and then Taya. Well, I'm going to tell all the Yu-Gi-Oh, all my favorite characters from every Yu-Gi-Oh series. I'm going to mix them up right now. Let me see. Your favorite is, your favorite character, may, my, your favorite character, my is Yugi Yami. Yup, Yugi Yami, Yugi Moto, I mean, yeah, I do like Yugi Moto, but I say Yami because of the Pharaoh's name. Yeah, Yugi Moto or Yugi Yami, Teya, Yusuke. Let me see. Um, Alexa from GX. Let's see who else. Who else? Um, uh, Yuma. Not that really. But I did forget what's the other character's name because so far I only saw one season of Yu Gi Oh's arts. I forgot what's his name. It has the green hair. Yeah, I forgot his name. Suma? Suma, that's his name? I think so. He looks cool. Okay, he's like my favorite character, and who else is my favorite character? Hmm. What else is my favorite character? Hmm. Oh yeah, Darks. He's my favorite character as well. He's my like the like one of the villains. And who else? Oh, <laughs> they're watching the voice kids right now. Okay. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, my favorite characters of Yu-Gi-Oh! But my favorite monsters are the Dark Magician, the Flame Swordsman, Dark Magician Girl, Etopia, um see Red Eyes, Gaia, um let's see who else my favorite monster. I got a lot of cool fairy monsters. Okay, you see. I like Joey Wheeler and you and mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Joey also is my favorite character too. Ha, ah, dang it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now I remember. My favorite character from uh, 5Ds is Jax and Crow. Those are like my favorite characters. Oh yeah, and Dark Magician, Black Chaos, and the Magnet Warriors, one in Fuse and One, and Buster Blader. Those are my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! monsters. And actually, I do have another spellcaster. It's like another Dark Magician, the one that Yugi had used to defeat um, Weebo when he got the Serial Over Cankles card. I got him right here. And I'm also going to add him to my spellcaster's deck. Let's see, where's he? My brother also gave that to me. Here we go. It's this one. I'm also going to add this guy too to my spellcaster's deck. This looks awesome. 
love his armor, love his shield and sword. It's very awesome. It's very cool. But I do got a lot of cards here. Like Penyum monsters. Let's see. I'm going to show you all my Penyum. I only got three Penyum monsters. Let me see here. Yeah. This is the only cards I have so far right now. You see? But I do have some of these, but I had these cards in like a very long time since 2013. Since the year that I moved in to Houston, Texas. And then 2014, that's when my cousin decided to give out all his Juvia cards to me and to my brother. And I do have like a, some couple of my Yu-Gi-Oh monsters. Right now I do have my rapper horseman. But my blue eyes, I don't know where my sisters left them. But I got that toy at at um the Swami. But if you guys would still want to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! But first let me show you some some of my figures because I also got because I also got this guy. I got the Darth Vader. Darth Vader is my favorite character in Star Wars because he used to be um Anakin Skywalker. And that was kind of funny. They were making fun of him in the, the night at the museum. And it's like he has the force. He was choking the Pharaoh. And then the Pharaoh said, ha, 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 just kidding. That doesn't even work. That was kind of funny. And I got this figure at Big Bad Toy Store, and I think it only cost me 19 bucks right there. I love this figure. And but the kid does have a little bit of weight because I do feel like it's a little bit heavy. But still, I love how they made him. So freaking awesome. Um Sandra, very good figure. Sandra, good thing that you're here right now, because look. Okay, some of you guys had just missed my video that I did of my 500 subscribers special. I did like a big unboxing, but I'm going to do another one, but much bigger when I hit to the 1,000 subscriber. But look, I got the SH Figure Arts Gerardo, and this is my second SH Figure that I got from this line, and also my third figure that I got, because I got one Brock Lee figure, and also got Rashid from Street Fighters. So, so far, I only got three SH Figure Arts figures. And the Swami over there in the guy that they were selling the SH Figure Arts Sailor Moon. And I'm thinking about getting her. But if she's still there, I'm going to pick her up. Longer with Iron Fist. But I really love the box of this figure. It's kind of cool. And also got... This Overwatch figure. Um, Widow Marker. This is my second figure that I have. This is the second one that I have right now. Holy right, guys. Let me see if I do have some space on this phone of mine. They are all solo solid figures. Yeah. But this is my second SH figure arts I have. I don't got like other ones. Yeah, I also got Tracer, but I left it over there in Tecate. So I'm taking these two figures with me so I can do reviews out of them. Holy right, guys, I think something's wrong with my phone. Well, well, there we go. Yeah, I do got Tracer, but I left it over there. So this is my second. This is my second Figma figure that I have so far. I plan to get most of them. Like I want to get the Figma figures from the Legend of Zelda, um, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, and more of the um, Overwatch figures. But this is the second one I have. But for my first time ever, for my first time ever, that I got my first. Bring arts figure Kyrie and Jeff's he wants to get it so if you want to pick this figure up you can pick it up right now at
Big Bad Toy Store. So start ordering that figure right now before they're all sold out. I really love the white color of this box. It's very nice. And here's the back side. Oh, I forgot to show you the back side as well. See, this is the back side of the, all the pictures, the poses you can do with this figure. Same for this one. And also for this one. But these three, I'll be taking them with me over there in Tecate. And also I'll be taking some of my figures over there too. But I got a lot to unbox. A lot of figures to review. So look. I'm going to show you some of my Marvel Legends that I got. Yeah. Planning, go, planning on getting her soon. Okay, I wish you luck, Chef. Okay, I did got some couple of my Marvel Legends from this website called the CMD Store. That is from Canada. And I ordered 10 figures from this website, but, but I kind of ordered 11 until one of them were canceled and I did, I did got mad. It's Atom Smasher I wanted to get, but it just gave me a refund. But maybe next month I'm going to do like another order there and I'm going to call those people that I do want the Atom Smasher. So wait, I'm going to download Instagram here. We've been a lot with this phone. I've been a lot with this phone. Because my channel grew with this phone of mine. Well, let me, let me um, download Instagram. There we go. If I got some space, because I got no more space in this phone anymore. I do have space in this one that I have right now. Okay, I see. Okay, it's downloading right now. So I got the Marvel Legends Prowler from the Lizard Man Wave. Looks very awesome. And I already got Spider Woman and and Gwenpool. Because I got Spider Woman right here with me. And I got this figure last year. And I went to Walmart. I was not expected to go to Walmart until my sister, well, not my sister, my cousin, she was going. And that's when I decided to go there. If I do see something good, I'll pick this figure up. I got her. And also got the Prowler figure. Yeah, this is my second figure I got. Okay, the reason I'm, at, I'm downloading Instagram here because my friend just sent me a text right there. I need to answer it. And also got the black suit Spider-Man from the Sandman Builder Figure Wave. And also got Poison from the Monster Venom Wave. And there's all the figures in the sand. I already got this girl. Look. You see? And this figure, I bought it at a local game, not a local game stop, but a game stop over there in San Diego. This one was, was all behind from a lot of bunch of Marvel Legends. I was moving to like one at a time and that's when I saw her. And this is was the rarest one. I was not even expected to find her so I decided to pick her up. So I got two figures from this wave. Poison and her. And my brother is going to help me out to get the rest of the figures. But I'm not going to keep this on um, Venom and I'm not going to keep this on um, Spider-Ham. I just gonna keep um, Carnage and Scream, only those two. Then I'll, maybe I will sell there or give it to my nephew. I don't know. But I do take it back because I did say that this figure doesn't look that good. But look, as long as that he has some great head sculpt and great detail effect right there on his torso, so I do take it back. I love it, and also has some nice white paint apps there. Okay, I'll be showing you one more because the rest you have to see them in my video that I did. I got this guy. I keep forgetting his name, but I'm not gonna care about the bullet figure. This one I'm gonna give it to my nephew because I prefer the toy bits. Because 
Back then, Toy Biz, when you used to have the Marvel Legends um, um, license, they made a lot of bunch of awesome figures like the Cable, Bishop, the Dark Moon, Black Heart, and even this guy. But so far, I only got two of these figures. Because I already got the ladies. These two ladies. And now I already got this guy. Hmm. But I think I'm going to give the Captain America to my nephew. Because I don't want to have a lot of Captain America figures. And, well, I'm going to keep this guy. I'm going to keep this guy. And I'm going to keep... Well, I'm going to keep these three here. Mostly, I'm going to keep all of them, but except for Captain America. And also, I got some figures from Big Bad Toy Store. So, my SH figure art, my Figma, and my Bring Arts, I ordered them at Big Bad Toy Store. But I also ordered this. And my sister was so surprised. I got this, um, this Soul Art Online figure. But I believe they only have these two figures in the set. Get it to a But if this line does make it a success, Maybe they might make more figures. So far, I have not even opened them. But starting tomorrow, I will be doing a lot of reviews of all the figures that I order. And the first figure I'll be, I'll be reviewing is this one, Prowler. This is going to be the first review. And then and then my Black Spider-Man. And there, I'm going to review all of them. But except for my SH figure on Chirira, Black um, Wordmark. Ah, burp. I should not drink too much soda. I did drink some soda right now. And this one be no. And after her, I'm gonna review this little guy, this little lizard. Oh gecko. I like making fun of dinosaurs. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, a wicked ninja. What's up, man? Everybody subscribe to him right now. He's a good guy right there. And also I'm very happy that he subscribed to my channel. And also I subscribe to him. So please subscribe to a wicked ninja right now. Right now, <laughs> how you been, guys? Actually, I was actually how all of you. Uh, actually, how are you, all of you? Are you doing great? Okay. And then the last one, I'm gonna review this one. And this is gonna be my first Jurassic World tour review. I'll be doing. I've never reviewed any of these figures before so this is going to be the first review i'm going to do out of this figure and let's see what well, what type of detail that this figure has mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep let's do new camera yeah this is the new camera i have here well i'm talking about you <laughs> mm. i see you got a new camera i also got a new camera i got a new phone and this phone is not giving me any problems. That's not freezing. It's not skipping. Maybe because of this old phone of mine that didn't have like enough space. Because I did try to download this app, and somehow that it always kicks me out because it has like so much memory. But I, but I'm still gonna keep this phone of mine because I had to, because I cried for this phone when my sister and my brother bought it for me. And look what I put here, L.A. That's where I'm from. I'm from LA, guys. Okay, so far. Yeah, this is gonna be the last review I'll be doing out of this figure. Yep, I got a lot of bunch of figures right now I have not even opened yet. But you guys wanna see them what I order when when I hit to my 500 subscribers, you can check out that video right now. It's got the CN Toy Collection Hall, the 500 subscriber special. And you're gonna see how, and you're gonna see all the figures that I order from both CMD store and Big Bad Toy Store. I'm still gonna order more figures from that website and also gonna order more figures from um, Amazon. But the only website that I'm not gonna order is eBay. eBay, no. I don't trust that website, not a single bit. Because what happened they're gonna say what happened they're gonna like, why are they gonna sell me some bootleg figures? So they're not even like original figures. It would be like fake. So no. Mm -mm. eBay is the only website that I'm not gonna buy anything from there. 
because they might sell me some, I don't know, very cheap things here. Like, imagine that this, I got this figure on an eBay, and what happened? The head doesn't move. If I move it, the head has just broken. That means they sold me a used figure that had been broken. So, that website, I don't even trust it. Not a bit. So, eBay is out of my list. The only things I will be buying is Big Bad Toy Store. Big Bad Toy Store is my favorite website. And then, and then, um, Amazon, um, CMD Store, and Zack Heroes. Not Zack Heroes, Zack Store. That's where I buy my Queen Bee figure. Yeah, those are the only websites I will be buying more toys. But here's something that I want to show you guys for a very long time. That I got this Mr. Fantastic. This was my first, one of my first pickups that I got when I did my first toy hunt. It only cost me eight bucks. Because we were going to Toys R Us and that's where my cousin told me about that one shop right there across the street. Because it was across the street. And then they were selling like a lot of expensive collectibles figures. So I went to look around and that store is big loads. And I got this figure for eight bucks. Even was even in the tag was right there in the back. And I really love this figure. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic is my favorite superhero from Fantastic Four. But I don't know which company it made this. And when I did some research, Mattel did not make it. So I was wrong right there. Okay, I only got three people watching me. But I but when I saw it that this figure came with some accessories like stretching arms effects. But I only bought this figure loose. It was in the window glass. It only cost me eight bucks. So Ray and Mr. Fantastic were the first figures that I bought for my first toy hunt video that I did. Never gonna forget that good old time I had. And I got my Darth Vader. I ordered this one in Big Bad Toy Store. Oh, and here's something that my cousin bought me for my birthday, like, I think in 2018. A couple of days after my birthday. And I really liked it. I was... He's kind of surprised me. I was not even expecting that he kind of get me something. They went to Cooper City Mall or they went somewhere else. I forgot to ask them where they went. But look. The Black Bolt figure. I even gave him a hug and I gave him thanks. Because my aunt and my two, my cousin just came right there inside my house. And then said, here, here, happy birthday. <laughs> That was a surprise right there. <laughs> Ooh, I really love when they surprise me. Because you will not know what your family members are going to get you. Because I was surprised that my cousin got me this figure. I even tell him thanks. Oh, very happy. And I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. And also got um, the Lord Voldemort from McFarlane's. And I hope that this line does, well, I hope this line, I hope this line does grow to make more figures because they did a very good job with this articulation, but I'm not sure about his claw right there. But everything in this figure is okay, and I really love this one a lot. And I'm a fan of the Harry Potter series. It's kind of sucks that the movies had ended, it ended, because they only make seven books and seven movies, well, make that eight movies, because because the last one they did like two parts, part one and part two. But I'll always be a fan of the Harry. I'll always be a fan of Harry Potter. Mm. All right, so I'll be showing you my cards right here. I had this box since two thousand fourteen when my cousin had just came. Let me see. Okay, I just got like a lot of bunch of mixed cards here. Hmm. Ooh, a dragon. I found a dragon card here. I really love that picture. 
This one looks cool. Yeah, most of these cards, my cousin just gave them to me. Oh, I'm just gonna edit this track card too to my spellcasters or... I forgot what it does. It seems when this... Yeah, I am gonna... Well, yeah, I am gonna add this spell card, this track card to my spellcasters deck. I am gonna add some warriors in there, like the Narcissus card, the Guardian. And I got one of the Yumas monster cards. Oh! I'm, I'm gonna add this trap card to my dragon card deck because when this card is activated it turns all that it turns every monster to that type monster I saw this one in the episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh the DNA card so if I activate it all my monsters will turn into dragons so I need to think about the right combo so I'm gonna add this card to my dragons deck So what else I got here? Because I got a lot of cards. Oh no, these got folded. Ah, dang it. Well, these got folded. Into tacos. Almost with tacos. Let's see. Ooh. I do got some of my old cards for my uh, Yumos deck box. Okay, I'll be showing you right now. I got the number six. I got this guy. I really love the color of these cards. There's XYC summons. Well, this one's not a number. But it's the only ones I had. Did you see the Mayfix Gwyn from Spider Verse? It looks pretty good. Yeah, I saw some images in Big Bad Toy Store. Thinking about getting her, but I'm gonna get the Marvel Legends. Yes, I love the Marvel Legends more. But I'm not sure if I want to order it or I want to hunt it down. After this um pandemic is over, I'll be going doing more toy hunts around. But I'm still going to order more figures. And I'm still going to do more announcements. About what kind of type of videos I'll be doing. Because I ain't going to do the figures evolution. But I don't know which figures should I talk about. Because I'm not going to I'm not gonna be including um 4 inch figures. And 12 inches figures. One of my one of my subscribers said let me a comment like which is your favorite character and he says I'm um, Batman. I did tell him Batman, but he's not having re comment yet. We'll see if I do uh, like a Batman figure evolution video. But there's a lot of bunch of Batman figures and same for Captain America. But I'm gonna do like parts like part one, part two, and part three. Depends how many figures are they made back in the times. And I got that experience from Glenn Webb, awesome YouTuber that I will never gonna forget what all the amazing things that he did. I'm thinking of doing toy hunts. Well, you should do toy hunts, Jeff, because toy hunts are very awesome. Because when I started doing my toy hunts since 2018, my channel was kind of growing. And I share my videos from this Facebook group called The Cynican. When every video that I did, every review that I did, a lot of bunch of YouTubers have subscribed to my channel and some of them let me comment and some of them have shared my videos. Who are you hunting for? Um, Spider Gwen. The Marvel Legends from the Osorvi Man. Wait, did I saw Red? Oh, what's up, Red? I did not saw you there. <laughs> what's up, Red? I might start Yu-Gi-Oh! decks and hunts and you hunt and 2021? 
Well, I will will keep on hunting more figures in the year 2021. Yeah. I got that experience from Glenn Webb. He was an amazing YouTuber. And I got my experience from that guy. And I really love the customized Venom Fear that he did. He got a lot of viewers from the amazing work that he did right there. People had loved it. He got fans all around the world. But it's sad that he's he's gone now. He never had the chance to see his channel 100,000 subscribers. And that really hurts me inside. And they say he's about to do something. But we don't know what he's about to do. Party, party was about to do like a giveaway. Ah, rest in peace, Glenn. I got my experience from him. And I want, and I want to keep on remembering him. For all the amazing work that he did. Glenn Webb was the best. But still, I don't know which figure should I begin doing the evolutions. But I will let you guys know, okay? In my, maybe I'm, I will announce it in my next video or in my next live stream. But I will let you guys know which should I do first. Okay, back to Yu-Gi-Oh cards here. I also got this... Um, this guy here. This is one of my favorite cards I got from the Yu-Gi-Oh deck box. It looks so awesome. And for this card, you have to summon, you have to sacrifice, uh, it says here you have to sacrifice two level four water monsters because the symbol is water right there. It's been a long time since I played Yu-Gi-Oh! a lot. I still have my brother's old deck, dueling deck. <laughs> Trying to get them red. Yeah. This is one of my favorite cards to have. And then I got some spill. Or oh, I think I should add. I'm not sure. I'm not sure should I added this to my to my dragon stick. But look. I don't know what this card does, but maybe it can help out for my dragon stick. And I got some. Some fusion monsters here. This one looks awesome. Love it. And here's a fusion monster. Looks cool. Oh, maybe it should. Well, this one looks so sweet. CN, after this, Corona want to come to New to New York. I want to meet you. Yeah, I am planning to go to New York. It's kind of sucks that the San Diego Comic Con was canceled because of this, and really am disappointed because of that. If this coronavirus never happened, I would have gone to Comic Con already. This was a, this was a chance to go. And I think I have a hunch that it's also the New York Comic Con will be canceled too. But if the New York Comic Con doesn't get canceled, I'm going to go there. But there's only one way to find out. They said that this coronavirus might end in November, the month of my birthday. And if it does end, I will go to New York. Because there's a lot of things I want to do there. Because I've been watching um, Daredevil's 19th. Hunt, and he been finding a lot of bunch of shops, and some of those shops has like a bunch of cool stuff, like Marvel Celebs, Marvel Legends, a lot of bunch of great stuff. So, are you from New York, Red? I didn't even knew that. Yeah, I do speak um, Spanish and Japanese a little bit. But I am going to talk Spanish if I, if I do see some of my friends over there in Tecate. I was saying, I'm going to add this card. It's a level 3 star. And I got a lot of fusions of elemental heroes. Which is your favorite? Because both of them are my favorite. Watch. Two of the elemental hero fusion monsters, but I don't have the right monster for these cards. 
Download on the kitchens. They both look nice. And then I got this um spell card. Okay, that's pretty much it for the cards I have here. For the Swami, where I go do a bunch of toy hunts, there's a little shop that sells a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Pokemon cards. Kind of, and think about buying more cards. Let me see what else I got here. Let's see what else I got here. Oh, another elemental hero fusion monster got here. Ooh. Dragon. And another dragon. Well, here's a card that does freaks me out. Is this one. This one's so scary that I don't want to see it. Ugh. Let me see what else I got here. Oh, my Mexican money I got here. Okay, I'm gonna show you some of my scents I got here. You guys are still there? Okay. This is a Mexican coin. It's a 10 pesos. You can see it's almost like a dollar right here. Light. This is from Mexico. I sure I took these. I just forgot I have them here. But they're kind of old. And here's uh two pesos. You can see they're like um two cents here. But it's still it's worth it. Because I live in like like they got this right during the borderline of the United States of California. I'm thinking about doing a live live tomorrow. Let me know, and I'll be there right there. Because I'm never going to miss nobody's live stream. Well, sometimes I do miss because I am very busy with a lot of bunch of things I do here in my house and also with there. And that's why I don't have time to see everybody's video. Because I'm very busy. Now I was saying that, that they got this like in the right there. They, uh, they got this all right there in the border of the United States of California. And because of that, that city is like close by to the to the country or the state of the state that that city runs, the dollar runs there. So if you want to buy something with the dollar, with the dollar, people will accept it. That's the reason I love um Tecate because the dollar runs there. Like if I do have five dollars with me. And the people are going to accept it. And they're going to give me the change. But in American or in Mexican. One of both. It's uh, Cien. Your real name. That was. That. I meant to say. Oh my real name. Nope. Sorry I'm not saying my real name. That is a secret. My real name. Well, not going to be mentioned to anywhere. Not on YouTube, not Twitter, not Instagram, and not on Facebook. That's not going to be mentioned to anywhere. So my name is going to be a secret. But I got this name, CN Tsukaima. Okay, CN is, okay, the letter C and, no, the letter C is for my first name. The letter for my first name. And then N is the first letter for my last name. And then Tsukaima 
I got it from this anime that I love so much and my brother has showed it to me around the end of 2010. I love that anime. And I wish they, make, they should make more seasons. And that's why I got it. The name of the anime is called Zero No Tsukaima or no as Familiar Zero. And I was so fan of that anime, I started to call myself that, Tsukaima. And I kind of love that name. What anime? The anime is called Familiar Zero or Zero no Tsukaima. I love that anime. And my brother has shown me that. I really love a lot of bunch of animes. Oh, and I do have one anime fear that I order at Big Bad Toy Store. It is the only one that they have. They don't have the other characters. I got Renji. It only cost me 19 bucks. Look at this. Love the blue box. And there's a lot of pictures of this character. Right here in this side, this side, bottom, well, bottom just his name, but in the top, nothing. But look right here in the back side. Yeah, I wasn't gonna hit my H2. I'm not gonna sell my H either. But, so, but this figure, this is the best. Renchi Armada. I don't want to be rude, but are you? Uh, autistic. Autistic? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna talk about that when I hit the 2,000 subscribers. Because anything about my life, I'm not gonna talk about that right now until I hit that mark. Because the 2,000. The 2000 subscriber mark, that's when I'm going to hit, that's when I'm going to tell everything about my life, but not all of it. Renji Arada. My brother loved his character a lot. We've been watching Bleach since the end of 2009, around December. But it sucks that Big Back Toy Store only had Renji. They didn't have Ichigo, they didn't have had Orihime, they didn't have anyone, only this guy. But there's still more. If you guys want to order this figure, you can order it at Big Bad Toy Store right now. Go ahead. But the rest of the figures, you guys have to find out in that one video that I did, the unboxing. I bought a lot of figures. But we're hit to the 1,000 subscriber mark. I'll be buying a lot of figures from Amazon, Big Bad Toy Store, CMD Store, and also Zach Store. And good thing some of you guys are here right now because... I am going to do a little giveaway, but not in this mark. I'm going to do a 600 subscriber giveaway. I'm going to tell it, and I'm going to like, all right, guys, and uh, an itch. Ah, uh, much better. Yeah, that thing was bugging me right now. I was saying, I am going to do like a little giveaway when I hit the 600 subscriber mark, and I'm going to give out four figures to one winner. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have three winners when I hit to the one thousand, but six hundred is gonna be one winner, and I'm gonna explain everything when I hit the six hundred mark. If you guys want to enter, you can enter right now. But this, but I'm gonna explain all the rules. What this six hundred subscriber gonna be? Remember, you're gonna win four figures, only one winner. Big money, CN, CN. You getting this money from, well, I'm not going to talk about money. All right. That is not allowed. I won't be talking about money around the live streams. So sorry, guys. I won't be talking about that. But yeah, I did have, I did bought a lot of figures. <laughs> Chef, you still here? Yep. Yeah, I'm still here. So, <laughs> yep, I ordered 15 figures, 10 figures on CMD store, and five figures at Big Bad Toy Store. And I'm gonna do that again when I hit the 1,000 subscriber. I'm gonna buy a lot, 
So I'm gonna start saving right now. So I can have a plenty of money so I can to buy the four figures for the first for the winner of the six hundred subscriber giveaway. And then I'll be buying a lot of figures for the first place, second place. Well, second place is gonna be a customized price. But you're not but I'm not gonna be telling which customized figure is gonna be. So all that, I mean all that is gonna be in the 1,000 subscriber mark video, and then the third one will be as well. Not yet. <laughs> yet I bought a lot of figures. So I'm here. You guys already saw it. You saw all the figures I got. But tomorrow I'll be starting doing all the reviews. But set for my SH Freeguard, my Big Money, my Bring Hearts because I did not brought my SH Freeguard Rock Lee and I did not brought my Figma figure um, Tracer so I could do some comparing size. So those reviews I'll be doing with Darren Tecati. But I finally got this Human Torch I've been wanting to get. But I don't think that Walgreens have these anymore. But maybe some Walgreens might have them. But if I'm lucky that if Walgreens does have some the exclusive like the Invisible Woman, I'm gonna buy it. Or not, I'm just gonna order it from the M M not C N D store. And this one only cost me thirty nine dollars. <laughs> I spent thirty nine, but I was so close to get the Hella figure. But you know how much it cost? The Hella figure. It cost nineteen. No, it cost me not. It cost ninety nine, close to a hundred dollars right there, and I didn't want to spend that much. <laughs> Hola, cómo estás? <laughs> Hola, yeah, it means hello in Spanish. Yeah, I will be talking about Spanish if I see some some of my friends over there in Mexico. Hablo español. Si hablas español, si hablas español, voy a hablar español un poquito. Hola, bye. Ok, bye. Hola, guys. Hmm. Yep, I do. But I don't know who was that one person. Wow. Yeah, thirty nine. But hella almost close to a hundred dollars. So I just took it out of the list, holding list. But let's see if the Walgreens that I go here might have the, the exclusive ones. If they do, I'm gonna buy the Invincible Woman. But if you like watching the um the video of the Esso Hunters that Sal went to find this figure, that he went to four different Walmarts and he never found it until that fifth Walmart that he went to a different area with Fern and Fern. That is one of my favorite videos I like to watch. The Human Torch figure, this one is way better than the new one that just came out in this year. I really love the sculpting on this figure. The sculpting on the top of his head and the... I think it makes two colors. Because doesn't look so much red. I think they mix up with orange, orange and red. Don't you think? No way, yeah, that's funny. But I love those little amazing fire effects. That's rude. Well, my girlfriend, she doesn't even mind about me collecting figures. And she also doesn't even mind that I play with figures. 
She really loves the support that sometimes she supports me as well. She doesn't even care. And she also she doesn't even care if I if I think about like about figures. All that matters is that she loves she loves like what I do around my channel. And everything that I do, she says that she's okay with it. I got the Human Torch and Mr. Fantastic. But I'm gonna get the, all the figures, but except for Daredevil and the Punisher. I'm gonna keep um, Jessica Jones, Blade, and Bullseye. Those four I'm gonna keep, but I'm not gonna keep these two because I don't wanna have a lot of bunch of Daredevil figures and I don't wanna have too much Punisher figures. So those two I'm gonna give up to my nephew. But this is the first one that I have from this wave. This Electra is kind of great. I was trying, I was almost to pick her up when I did my first Toy Hunt video. But when I saw this figure, I heard that it was so rare that people cannot find it. So I left Electra and I got her instead. This is the first figure that I have. And I ain't gonna keep the Billa figure. I'm gonna keep it the main thing. It's not that bad. The build figure is okay. Well, Dirt Double and Punisher are okay too, but I don't wanna have too much Punisher figures and I don't wanna have too much um Daredevil figures. I ever to only have one Punisher and one Daredevil figure. Only one. Not a lot. And also got like the like the first DC figures. And also gotta get my other DC figure. Hold on, let me take it out. some of my figures here with me so I got Hawk these are the only DC universe that I got the only DC universe figures that I have right now this one I didn't buy it anywhere not Target not Best Buy not GameStop not Walmart not Walgreens anywhere not even a single shop that I go this figure I got it on a Christmas event here in Los Angeles and the guy, he was with me. He's saying, oh, so you like DC? And I told him, I like both, DC and Marvel. And I saw this figure with his box. But the box was kind of damaged. Okay, imagine this is his box. When I got this figure with the box, the box was kind of damaged right here in the top. It was kind of almost like a little bit open. And also right here in the bottom. Like, you can see, like right here was a dent. But those figures, but those toys... They're being donated to the people so the kids can get them. But I was really want to get this guy. Oh, they canceled that order. Really makes me mad. Uh, but at least I got a piece right there. Can you see the bill piece? I don't think so you guys can see the bill piece. Let me turn on my flashlight. Can you see the bill piece? Nah, you guys can see it. But the bill piece right there. Inside, right there, the bullet piece arm is right there inside. Ah, so disappointed they canceled my order. But next time I'm gonna get them. Next time I'm gonna buy them. And then the last ones I'll be showing you this from a game. I believe some of you guys know this game. So caliber. All this time, these figures were small. I thought they're gonna be like seven inches or eight. I thought they're gonna be big, but no, all this time they were only small. 
but I only ordered this toy so I can do a review. There are not a lot of reviews on these figures. See, and do you know, do you like iPhones? Well, I like all the type of phones. I don't know which is my favorite, but I like all of them, especially this one I have here. And I was saying, there's a not a lot of reviews on these characters. And I don't know what happened to this line. Dean McFarlane had just canceled it. Because this is the oldest toys. These are like the oldest figures ever. And so far, they only made these. I think. See, not even people don't even know that McFarlane made Soul Calibur toys before. Because right now, Chesha said he didn't even know they were Soul Calibur toys. But now you're seeing it right now. Right now you're seeing it, this chef. And these are the only ones that McFarlane's ever made. They only made five. And that's pretty much it. Because back then, people didn't even knew about this game. I didn't even knew about this game until my brother showed it to me. And my brother's favorite character is Nightmare. All of these toys were sold out except for this guy. He was the only one left. So I'm going to do a review out of this figure. And let's see how many viewers and comments and likes I'm going to get on this video. So I hope that McFarlane makes more of these characters. I think of, I think got canceled. We don't know what happened to this line. Nobody knows what happened. But I'm going to do some research that what happened to this license they had. Hmm. I played the game and always want to want the toys from the game. Well, you can get them right now at CMD store. Hold it, Chef. I'm going to show you right now. I'll show you right now. Oh, I got my phone right here. I'm gonna be showing you right now. Yeah, I'll be doing some research on this. Let's see if that line was canceled. Hold it, hold it. My phone's home. Okay. And here's the, and here's a picture in the right here in the side of the box with the name of the game, and a picture of the character. All right, this is a CMD store. Right here, I bought all my figures that I got, my Marvel Legends, my DC figure, and my video game characters I got. And here, you can order whatever toy you want. Look, there's a whole way of the Sugar Man. And they have some, some anniversaries. Some Star Wars figures right there. More Star Wars. G.I. Joe. Transformers. And I think I like this website a lot. Because this website has some of the toys that not even um, Big Bad Toy Store doesn't have in stock. Because Big Bad Toy Store, they don't have these figures in stock. And also they don't have Electra on stock. And also they don't have these on stock. So you so this gonna be so this gonna be a great review I'll be showing. But maybe I'll get this figure to my brother, I'll keep it. I don't know yet. And this is the last one. I got the Assassin Creed. But it didn't say anything that there was a like, Toy Story exclusive. Look, the sticker's right there. Can you see it? The Toy Story exclusive. I just didn't know they didn't even said that. But I think I'm gonna keep the box because the box it does has the sticker of Toy Story, and I want to throw anything from that. I really miss Toy Story. Who missed Toy Story? Everybody missed Toy Story. 
Let me hear you guys. Let me hear you. Do you guys miss Toys R Us? I really miss Toys R Us. Yeah, this is the only... Yeah, this is the last one I'm showing you. I already showed you all the pickups that I got. And here's the back side. Nice picture. Me too. <laughs> yeah, we miss Toys R Us. I love the picture of this figure. Well, the picture of the box, I mean. Very great. Yep, by science starting tomorrow, I'm gonna review all of them, especially this little dinosaur that I got. I keep forgetting. Oh, and I guess I did took us all my figures out. I got the Marvel Legends. Um, okay, I thought it was coming back, but I guess not. Oh, that's because the what is happening right now, the pandemic. That's the reason no other stores were now open. I got this Craven figure. This is way better than that one two pack that I want to get. I know that has a gun, but this was much better. And love those skull details they had on his knees. Nice. I got this figure in 2015. That was the year when this wave came out. And also got my little brother's White Ranger from the Legacy before um, Hasbro bought the license. The White Ranger from Dino Power. No, Dino Thunder, I mean. And I got this one out of Walgreens. It only cost me 19 bucks right there. Look at the nice articulation it has. Swivel on the head. Rotation. Bicep swivel. Rich swivel. And there's this morpher. You guys can see the morpher. You can open his arms as much. Bend it. And bend it here. It's very nice. There we go. Alright. So I think it's pretty much it. I'm showing sure you all my cards. But I am going to buy more Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And also more action figures. Boy, I really love Yu-Gi-Oh a lot. And my only Yu-Gi-Oh series that I love so much is Yu-Gi-Oh and Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds. How old are you? How are you going to get... Um, payback on your neighbors. Those punks made me mad for talking your cards, for taking your cards. Yep, my former neighbors, they took my cards. Never gonna forget that. But I'm not gonna beat them up any of that. Because I will find a, a good way to get them back for doing that to me. Something that it won't, well, something that won't be any violence. But like I said, I'm not gonna beat them up any of that because I'm never gonna do that check out my second chan sure Jeff I'll check it out because as long as it's about game cards it's fine with me <sighs> but Yu-Gi-Oh will always be my favorite animate Yu-Gi-Oh the first generation in 5Ds and I also love the movie they did Yu-Gi-Oh the Pyramid of Light and the other movie that all the three characters join in to take down that one duel this. But the new Yu Yu movie that came out in 2017, I have not even seen it yet. But maybe I will see it later on. But I love Yu Yu cards. My favorite cards, my favorite type of monsters are spellcasters and zombies. So I will be building, I have not finished building my, my spellcasters deck. But I do have this card, but I don't have it with, with me. I got this card. I got dibs on it. Oh, I forgot to show you one more figure I got. Titania Man. This is really awesome. Kind of looks like Iron Man, but it's not Iron Man. It's Titania Man. I already saw the, the anime show of Iron Man when Tony is a teenager. I saw that one already. I saw all the two seasons. I saw all the episodes. I love it so much. I feel like I want to see it again. I saw it on Netflix over there in, over there in Tecate. Because the Netflix over there in Mexico and here in the United States is different. Because 
over there they have some shows that not even Netflix doesn't has here. Like I do watch Paw Patrol, but I only watch it with my nephews, well my nephew and my nieces. And I do watch some of the old um, Marvel movies like Captain America, the first movie, the Avengers. Hmm. Maybe my next live stream will be about my favorite superhero movies. So I hope you guys don't miss that. I will let you guys know, okay? But I don't know when. But still, I'm not, not sure when I'll be heading back to Tecate. But I will let you guys know. But I won't be doing no live stream. It's going to be a normal video. Okay? But the Tanny Man is awesome. Look at all that green detail this guy has. And I got this figure at the Extreme Toys. One of my favorite local shops I like going here in the city. It only cost me 18 bucks. It's one of from the first Iron Man movie toys. Ah, good old times when I went when I discovered that one shop. All me and my brothers we went. Sometimes I like to hang out with my brothers. Sometimes I do get like some free time with my brothers, hanging out with going to movies, going to shopping. Those are the good times I really love. And I and I do and I still doing that. I just love my brothers. All of them. <sighs> okay, so I think I'm gonna end the video right now. So thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this live stream today. If you did, leave a like. If you wanna share it, well, that's up to you if you wanna share it or not. Comment, but remember, do not say, but do not leave any offensive comments or saying bad words. If you do that, your comments will be removed from this video. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my videos. And this is pretty much it. Oh, and later on, I'll be uploading um, another gameplay of Iron Mattis. I think that's the name of the game. Another gameplay video I'll be uploading. Another video I'll be uploading. Ah, uh, I try to say this. Later on, I'll be uploading another gameplay video, okay? So don't miss it. You guys can free to check it out. I did a lot of, like, bunch of gameplays. But I'll be trying a lot of other games there. All right? So take care. Be safe. Keep on hunting. Keep on collecting. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. All right? So this is CN Skyma, and he's out in line.